Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make three easy note cards using the Blooming Love stamp set. And here are the cards. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this one is the third one. And I'm just going to go through really quickly and show you how to make these. So to start off with, you are going to need a package of Whisper White note cards and envelopes. Just gonna pull one out right now. If you don't have cards this size, you can cut one uh, by cutting a piece of cardstock to seven inches by five inches and then scoring in half at the three and a half inch mark. And I'm just gonna use my bone folder to crease the fold on this note card and make it lay nice and flat. And then I'm going to bring in my Blushing Bride ink pad. Uh, this is the Blooming Love stamp set right here, and we're going to be using this heart right here. I've put this heart on a big block because it makes it easier for me to see exactly where I'm stamping. And uh, on this card, it's maybe not as important as the next card I'm going to show you, but it's still sometimes easier than putting it on a smaller block. So I'm just going to kind of stamp this over to the left side my card and then I'm going to come in with my chocolate chip ink pad and I'm going to use the love you and friend stamp together I've just put them together on this clear block and just ink that up and I'm just gonna want to put the love you just slightly touching the heart like that okay and then um, to finish off the, the card, I just want a little embellishment. So um, I actually have the matching Blooming Heart Thinlets right here. So I'm going to use the smallest flower and I'm going to cut a flower. If you don't have the matching Thinlet die, you could stamp this heart again on a piece of Whisper White and cut out one of the flowers as an embellishment. But just to show you, you can take your Big Shot and I've got some Blushing Bride cardstock here and I'm just going to run this through like that and then I'm just gonna pop out this little flower with my paper piercing tool and this is actually I don't know if you can see this really well but this is kind of a nice flower. It's got a little texture to it. So let me bring back my card and my little flower. And I'm just going to take a dimensional. It's like a foam dot. I'm going to put it on the back of this little flower here. Remove the backing. And then you can just add it to your card down here at the bottom. And then we're going to take a pearl jewel. And again, I'm going to take my paper piercing tool because it's easier to pick up the little pearls like this and then I'm going to pop that right in the center of the flower like that and that is card number one just like easy peasy then to do the second card I'm going to also need another note card so I've already got one smoothed out here like this this time I need to find out the center point of the card my grid paper is very handy for doing that let me slide that back into the photo a little bit or the camera a little bit so I've got my measurements on um, one axis and on the other so it's very easy for me to line this up in the corner um, the card is five inches across so I'm going to find the two and a half inch mark here I'm just gonna draw a light line up the center. This is just going to help me with the placement of the heart because this card right here uh, has two hearts on it and I want them spaced fairly evenly. So the Blushing Bride ink pad comes back in the picture and this is where having uh, the heart on a large block makes it easier to see where I'm stamping. So I'm going to align the left um, side of the heart right along the pencil mark. So I'll have equal distance and then equal distance from top and bottom and then just kind of stamp that down. So when I do the other side I'm going to line up the other side of the heart with the other side of the pencil mark 
and that way they should be fairly even. Let's see, and then down. Okay, and then you can go ahead um, and just erase that pencil mark and get rid of it. Okay, like it wasn't even there. And then we are going to need a piece of Scrap Whisper White and the chocolate chip, chocolate chip ink pad. And this time we're going to take this banner right up here from the Blooming Love stamp set. And I'm just going to ink that up. And we're going to stamp it on the scrap piece of Whisper White. And then I want the Be Mine stamp from the same stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle of the banner. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cut this out like I have done right here and we're just going to pop some dimensionals on the back of this little guy here like that. I think about three will do fairly well. Three evenly spaced. And then you just kind of find the center point and put it on like that. Then bring back the pearls. I'm going to use pearls on all of these cards and I'm just going to grab a pearl jewel and I'm just going to put it right by the leaf on the banner. Like that. So there is card number two, another easy peasy card using the same ink colors. And then finally we are going to do this card and we're going to do some lining up for this card too. I've already got my same size uh, card base as I've used before and this time we're going to want to draw some lines down at the bottom so I know where to stamp all these cute little greetings. So I'm going to, um, I've got my card lined up on the grid paper and I'm going to want to draw a line one inch uh, up from the bottom and just kind of along there and then I'm going to go up just a quarter inch and draw another line and then I'm going to draw another line at the one and a half inch mark so I'm drawing a line at the one inch one and a quarter and one and a half inch mark and that is going to be um, my guide lines for my little my little greetings so we're going to start off with love you and I'm going to peel this off of my block that I used for the other card and I'm going to put it on a skinny block here like this and I'm going to ink this guy up in chocolate chip and I'm just going to line this up on that line and I'm just going to stamp it across. It's fairly easy to line up because because um, it's see-through but don't worry about being perfect and then I've got the little X, XO or hugs and kisses and I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna scoot this one over just a little bit so it doesn't look like I'm starting everything right on the um, at the start of the line just give it a little bit of a difference and then come back here and grab the O on that side and then finally I'm going to do Be Mine and I'm also going to scoot this over a little bit so it doesn't look like I'm starting everything right at the start and one more time there we go and I'm just going to let this dry a little bit um, the first time I, I did a sample card I didn't let it the ink dries fairly quickly but if you're going to rub on it with an eraser like I did it um, it just it wasn't quite dry enough so just give that a second to dry before you go ahead and erase the pencil marks and then we'll finish off the card while we're doing that so I'm just going to grab my my blushing bride ink again and I'm going to stamp the heart just above it kind of centered like that and then I'm going to bring in some pearl juice again and this time I'm going to use one of the large pearl juice and I'm just going to put it on the largest flower like that. Now I'll grab two of the medium sized pearls 
and we'll put one down here and one like that. So there we go um, and you can uh, erase the lines and then you're going to be finished that card. So there's uh, one set of cards, here is another and here's the first one that we made. And you can make some really fancy cards with the stamp set as well but I just wanted to show you that really you can make some really uh, pretty cards with the stamp set just using a couple of ink colors, a package of note cards, and some uh, pearl jewels. And uh, they're, they're pretty easy peasy. I hope you like them. All the supplies you'll need to make these note cards are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.